Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about, and this is throwing me back to middle school, but we are going to be talking about Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, and Hailey Bieber. Something I really didn't think I'd be covering here and I'll explain why. Quick note, I am kind of bordering a cold, so if my voice is particularly annoying, there's truly nothing I can do about it, but you can rest assured that I have to hear my voice all the time, so that is my punishment. If it bothers you, know that I am suffering. Something very strange started happening a couple weeks ago. Well, actually since I was born, but more specifically a couple weeks ago. So a couple weeks ago, I was just on Twitter, scrolling, doom scrolling, whatever, and I randomly started getting an influx, and I'm talking about a serious influx of posts about Selena Gomez, Hailey Bieber, and Justin Bieber. Now, to be entirely transparent, I used to fucking hate Justin Bieber back when I was like 13 and 14. I was just bothered by his existence. And this was when he was kind of discovered. And so he was all over the place. He was all over YouTube. He was on the radio. He was on shows. I just felt like I could not get away from that boy. Girls at my school were obsessed with him. Truly an exhausting time to be alive. Since then, I have gotten over that. I'm, I've am i never been a fan. I've never listened to his music. So I'm pretty much whatever about him, but that's just for context. Haley, Selena, I don't like either of them. Um, not because I particularly dislike them, it's just like I don't know anything about them that makes me like them. So I guess I'm kind of neutral, like I don't really care about either of them. So everyone in the story, let us say, I have no vested interest in being on their side. <laughs> I don't like any of these people. They all give me weird vibes, I will say that. A couple of weeks ago, on my Twitter, posts about Selena specifically were flooding my timeline. Now, mind you, on Twitter, I don't follow Selena or Haley or Justin Bieber. I don't follow any hashtags or topics related to them. Now, I don't know if it's because I follow other musicians that this shit might have popped up, but it has been saturating my timeline. Now, granted, now there may be a reason because I don't know what happens algorithmically when you bookmark shit, but if this has happened to you, let me know because it came out of nowhere. I've never in my life been in interested in any topic relating to them, which is why I was so confused. That being said, because I am a nosy bitch, I was like, what's going on that all of this shit is popping up for me? There have been numerous, numerous posts and articles about how, allegedly, Selena is still obsessed with Justin Bieber. Most of the posts that came up, and I'm not doing this to do an overview. I'm talking about what was specifically catered to me because it is a very specific narrative. So we're talking about that narrative, okay? So in that narrative, what I'm seeing, what was catered to me specifically on my timeline are a bunch of posts that are alleging that Selena is still deeply obsessed with Justin Bieber, even though he's been married to Hailey Bieber for like, what, six years now? five years, and that she still is very much involved with shit related to him. But they almost make her seem stalkerish. Whether this is a representation of reality or not, I don't know. All of the research I did, everything was heavily biased. You know what I mean? So I don't wanna jump to conclusions. What I will say is that Selena has been particularly active on social media. She has commented a lot, and a lot of these comments just happen to relate to Justin Bieber. So optics wise, this shit looks bad. So Selena seemingly confirms that she's dating Ex Justin Bieber's pal, Benny Blanco, posts cozy pic with producer. So this is a big talking point amongst the posts that I saw that people were saying, oh, she's dating someone new, but she's still talking about Justin Bieber. Now I had no idea who this Benny character was and I didn't even know that he was in any way connected with Justin Bieber. Though I can only imagine in the music industry, the circles must be relatively small. So it is likely you're probably going to run into someone who knows someone you know. So. I don't really think all that much about that, but the question would be for me, how close were they? Because it's one thing if they just happened to work together, and it's another thing if they're hanging out together on the weekends unrelated to work, just to hang out very different things. Regardless, people have been even more critical of Selena because they're like, you have a new boyfriend, but you're still talking about your ex from like relationships ago who is now married. Bit weird. So the only order these are going to be in is just how I found them and how they're bookmarked. Here we have one that says, Selena Gomez is once again caught stalking a Jelena page who is known for being a Hailey Bieber hater bully. I will always be his Selena on Instagram. The page has less than 1K followers and did not tag or hashtag Selena Gomez in its post. So here we see that she liked this picture and the page that posted this is a Justin and Selena fan page. So 
It is a little bit suspicious that she found this post not being hashtagged or not being tagged, uh, unless she follows this account or keeps tabs on this account, which also keeping tabs on an account, don't underestimate that because there, I'm imagining there are hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands of accounts that are stand pages that are small. So if you're not following them, either you have a side account or you remember usernames or you've made note of usernames, right? If you're not gonna openly follow them and if you don't have like a secret account. So I wonder about all of those things. I think that's a little bit weird in and of itself. Like this is not necessarily harmful, I'd say, but it is weird considering how many people follow her. This just seems like a lot. I'm gonna say that. A lot of these screenshots don't show particular context. Here we have her replying to someone. So this tweet says, even when she's in a relationship, she mentions that old ass relationship. She needs help. That man is married for six years. So Selena Gomez responded to someone saying, oh, sweetheart, I've been in therapy since I was 18. I know what's best for me and I will fight till I get what I deserve. I appreciate your misguided input, but I'm growing. Don't feel free to grow with me. Just know I'm not going to be with a fuck boy ever again. Sorry to disappoint. Okay, so I did a little bit of digging. I found the context. I'm gonna post it here. So just press pause to read it. But the fact that she's going into the comments to respond to comments like this, now, part of me understands that. So see, this is where we go back to what I was saying about uh, Benny Blanco and uh, her dating him, but still being quote unquote, as according to these pages, obsessed with Justin Bieber. So she says, he's better than anyone I've been with, facts. And then someone commented, what, isn't he the same person who made fun of her and took Bieber's side? Sometimes Selena confuses me. And then someone said, but who knows what's happening in private? I hope he apologized to her about this. And then someone said, if that's the case, I think he should apologize in public, whatever, if she's happy. And then she comments, he has my heart. So she not only is responding, but she goes to respond to a conversation. So there's a comment, she finds that comment, then she sees a conversation under the comment and then she responds to that conversation. All of it seems a little bit unnecessary. Mainly, I'm even talking about towards herself because the more you comment like this, the more people will become critical about you, the more shit will come out about you. Which then leads me to the conspiracy theory of, is this all PR? I believe that some of this is genuine. I believe that some of this is also having difficulty to not respond, which I can completely understand. But part of me is like, she has to know, or her publicist or whoever is there, they have to know that this will generate some kind of buzz around her name in the circles I'm in. Nobody's talking about Selena, so maybe that's necessary. I don't know. I don't know what is going on with business on her end if she needs the boost. But you have to wonder, is this all a way to reignite some kind of drama that is dead on the other side, but very alive on your side? Because from what we see from Haley, and from Justin Bieber, from what I've seen, I haven't seen engagement on their end, really. So that also for optics does not really look good because it looks like you're responding when there's nothing to respond to. So someone says, biggest hypocrite award goes to Selena. So she said, he's absolutely everything in my heart, referring to the new boyfriend. And then I don't understand, if you actually care about me, this is my happiest. If you don't, feel free to say whatever you want, but I will never allow your words to guide my life ever. I'm done. If you can't accept me at my happiness, then don't be in my life at all. So people were trolling her because this response was actually someone copied and pasted her comment under a Justin Bieber picture under her pictures. So she'd said to Justin Bieber, if you can't handle the hate, then stop posting pictures with your girlfriend, LOL. It should be special between you two only. Don't be mad at your fans, they love you. So basically a bunch of people started copying and pasting her comment under her pictures. So they're quoting Selena to Selena, but she didn't realize that apparently. And so she responded with this comment being like, I don't understand if you actually care about me, but they're calling her a hypocrite for that. And I mean, like, I don't know when the original comment was left, but I don't remember every comment I've ever made, first of all. So I can't really like blame her for that. Again, a lot of the people in your comments just want a reaction out of you. Giving them that reaction is actually probably going to work against you in the long run. I don't understand where are the PR people? Where are the publicists? Do celebrities not hire these people anymore? Are publicists unemployed now? Like what is going on? Once upon a time, there was a publicist based on the shows I've seen. So no grasp in reality, but still the publicist would basically be 
kind of your bodyguard in terms of optics. They tell you what not to do. They tell you how to react in a way that is palatable for the public. And yes, sometimes they help you manipulate the public. So we also have to be careful with that. But it's like, how are all these people just running amok and just saying whatever? Selena Gomez confirms she's dating Benny Blanco as she has a meltdown in the Instagram comments of a post again. She also confirms she's gotten Botox and drags her own fans. The thing about Botox, frankly, I, who cares, honestly? I don't find that interesting in the least. Here's the post. Uh, so Selena Gomez is rumored to be dating producer Benny Blanco. And then in the comments, someone says, fighting your fans for a man is embarrassing. And then they tagged Selena Gomez. And she responded saying, the most important thing to me is my people. You all have saved my life. I have a right to defend my life though. Then someone says in regards to Blanco, she has a tendency to choose this kind of man. I think her insecurity limits her. Someone says she has low self-esteem, sadly. There's so many intelligent, talented, handsome, clean men that wants her, but she always chooses the musty. Then the comment gets cut off, but I think we get where that was going. And she says, lol, oh sweet girl, so off. Whether you're insecure or not, this is giving insecurity. And that's not shade to people who are insecure. There are things that I'm deeply insecure about that do make me question a lot. It's normal to have some type of insecurity. I'd say most people I know have them. Obviously they're not under the microscope. I will say responding to people like this, it is giving insecure because you are trying to justify yourself by not really justifying yourself, but just by commenting snide remarks to tell people how wrong they are. Did you need to do that though? Did you have to go that far? Did it really matter that much? Cause I feel like this is going to take a toll mentally. Effectively, it will, because I know that sometimes I'll read just one comment and depending on what the comment says, that shit will fuck me up, depending. But there are some comments that will get under people's skin. And it's like, if you kind of go looking for those comments, which is what looks like is happening here, how long can you go before that shit actually affects your everyday life? So that's all I have in terms of the posts I bookmarked. A lot of them were really repetitive. So I was like, whatever. What I will say though, is that a lot of people are bringing up the fact that Hailey Bieber got super, super heavily bullied by the, Justin and Selena stands. And I really do think that is unfortunate and extremely childish. And overall, that is why fan culture sometimes scares me. And I think that's also why I think there has to be a level of detachment within fan culture in the sense of, I think there's such a thing as being a really big fan of a celebrity, but I really do think a lot of people should, in my opinion, draw the line at, their private life. Like for me, you guys know, for a very long time, I've been a fan of Lana Del Rey. We know this, it's established, okay. As much as I've followed along with like what's happened in her relationships, there has never been a moment where I thought it was appropriate or even useful to comment anything in regards to those relationships. Everything I've ever commented has been about music and it's never been going to hate on someone else who wronged. You know, like it's just, it's toxic, but more than anything, it's it drags in people who have nothing to do with it. Again, I don't have a vested interest in any of these people, but imagine you start dating someone and you get fucking just destroyed, harassed continuously because you are dating that person because of a prior relationship. Now granted, as far as I understand, there was a very short gap of time between the end of Selena and the beginning of Hailey. As far as I understand, I could be wrong, but there wasn't like a massive amount of time, which I think is part of what was so triggering to a lot of people. But it's kind of crazy to me that we have developed really toxic relationship with celebrities where randos just feel justified and going to hate on anyone. And that's not exclusive to Hailey. The same way that I really don't feel like any of this is all that necessary in the sense of, yeah, do I think Selena is being weird? Very weird, yes. Like, I don't think this is healthy behavior in the least. At the same time though, you know, if, if there is an issue, commenting that she's obsessed or whatever is not going to change anything. We've seen her clap back, she does not care, as far as we know. She cares enough to comment, but I don't think she, I don't think she cares enough to change. So at the end of the day, what does this do? However, I really do think that some people actually really enjoy the concept of a love triangle and the drama of a love triangle. And I think that's what a lot of this is. Like a lot of the people I don't think actually care at all, but it's more the question of she's so obviously still in love with him. Like this is like shitty 
sitcom type stuff. Let me know if the algorithm has fed you just like random shit out of nowhere because I'm really weirded out by this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always. I'll catch you guys next time.